There's no sun up in the sky, so only weather Since my gal and I ain't together Keeps raining all the time Life is bare Gloom and misery everywhere Stormy weather Just can't get my poor self together I'm really all the time Oh yeah Since she went away The blues walked in to get me Since if she stays away Your walking chair will get me all I do is pray the Lord above will let me walk in the sun once more. Walk and go. Everything I had is gone. Stormy weather. Since my gal and I ain't together, it keeps raining all the time. Keeps raining all <laughs> well, howdy there, pluckers. I was all fingers again with you with hopefully uh, an interesting bit of see something different to what we normally do. A really old classic song, Stormy Weather, done by various artists uh, Lena Horne, Ella, Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, you name it, they've probably all done it. Uh, but this is based on a version done by Jeff Lynne of um, ELO fame and uh, Travelling Wilburys. Okay? Uh, he's done his own version a few years back on a solo album. Um, so my version is based on his his take on it. Okay, standard tuning, no capos, um, doing it in the same key as Jeff Lynne, which is the key of G. Okay, and this has basically got some. They look they may look tricky, but they're not overly tricky these chords. So please give it a go. Okay, it's easier than it looks. I think personally. Okay, uh, if you like a little bit of uh, something different, a bit jazz type of feel to it. Okay, so. Um, I would show you the first chords, the first four chords, which are also used a lot in the song itself as well in the verse. Okay, the first one is a G bar chord, which you probably all know, third fret. The second chord I play is a G sharp diminished, and it's this. Okay, so what you do, right? So to get the second chord, G uh, sharp diminished, I'm barring the first. Uh, with my first finger, the fourth, third, and second strings on the third fret. So it's not such a big move because you're already borrowing the third fret for the G chord, see? So you just move it down to the fourth, third, and second strings on the third fret bar. Your third finger plays the or frets the fourth fret of the third string, the G string, and your second finger goes up to the fourth fret. On the bottom E string. Now that will automatically lean inwards and rest against the back. The back of the finger will rest on the fifth string which mutes it which is great because we don't want to hear the fifth string. Okay and what we do is we all sort of mainly down strokes this song. Okay chunk chunk chunk. Okay so so what I'm doing there I'm, I'm strumming down and I'm going from, I'm hitting the bottom E string obviously and probably down to the third or the second string. I'm not hitting the top E string, okay? Should sound like that. So now you've got this and it is a very, very slow song, okay? You don't have to rush this, okay? So try not to rush it. That's what the first two chords should sound like, okay? The third chord is uh, somewhat easier. It's an A minor seven barring the fifth fret of the uh, all the strings, fifth fret with the first finger, okay? And then the third finger is playing the uh, seventh fret of the fifth string, the A string. You can, you can all hit all strings on this, but I'm, again, because it's that sort of jazzy thing, feel to it, I'm basically concentrating on the thicker strings. Okay? 
Okay, so now you've got Okay, and the fourth chord in the sequence is a D augmented. So what am I doing with this? Right. Again, the first finger is now barring the third string and the second string at the third fret. The second finger is playing the fourth fret of the D string, the fourth string there. And my third finger is playing the fifth fret of the fifth string. Okay, like that. And I, what I tend to do is rest my thumb, just rest it on the bottom E string, mute the bottom E string, and again, strike downwards, down strokes, from, try and go from say six down to again three. If you hit the second string, that's fine. You just don't want the top E string, okay? Don't hit the top E string. Okay, so now you've got this. Okay, so the, the ideal strings to hit are five down to two if you can target your strum. But if, you hit, if you've got the thumb on the bottom E string, if you hit that, it won't sound so it's all right. Okay, so you, that's the sequence you play for the intro. You, you go around twice and then you keep playing it for the verse. The first couple of lines of the verse are exactly the same. Okay, so let's go. Two times for the intro. Here we go with the vocals. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Saw me weather since my gal and I ain't together. Keeps now on the very last line of the verse where it keeps raining all the time. You play everything the same up to the A minor 7th, then you take it up, take the A minor 7 up 3 frets to make a C minor 7. So I'm playing a bar now on the 8th fret and the 10th fret on the 5th string with the 3rd finger. It's exactly the same chord as the A minor 7th, but up 3 frets. And then back to G. And the usual sequence. So that's the end of the verse. And then goes back to G for another round of the usual chords, okay? G, uh, G sharp diminished, A minor seventh, and D augmented, okay? So let's do the intro, the first verse, and we'll do one round of the sequence in between verses, and then we'll do the second verse. And uh, then we'll show you how to play the uh, middle section of the song, the bridge section, okay? So two lots of intro. Slowly. Here comes verse one. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. So be with her since my girl and I ain't together. Keep raining all the time. Usual sequence. Verse two. Life is bad. Gloom and misery everywhere, stormy weather. Just can't get my poor self together. I'm racing my seventh wheel all the time. Stay on G for four beats. So after the second verse, you come out but out of the sequence of it goes up to the C minor seventh, where it goes. So I'm weary all the time. Four beats, four strikes on a G, and then it goes to G7, all you do is you take your pinky away from the G chord, and that's a G7, So and four beats on that, so it's one, two, G, pinky off, four more, oh yeah, and we go into the bridge section, and we go to a C7, by all we do, from the G7, alright, so you've got a G7, all we do is we keep the bar where it is on the third fret and we add the third finger to the fifth fret on the fourth string, the D string, and pinky to the fifth fret. So that's the fifth fret on the fourth string and pinky on the fifth fret of the second string, the B string. And 
you hear all six strings, that's fine. And that is a C7, okay? So you go four beats on, after you come out of the second verse, four beats on G, four strums on G7, and then four strums on the C7. So it goes G7, oh yeah, C7, since he went away. Four strums on the C7, back to G for two, and then two more for G7, and then another four beats for C7, and then another two on G, and two more on G7. So let's just get that far with the words, okay? So coming out of the uh, the uh, second verse where it goes um, I'm weary all the time Four G7 Four Four on C7 Since he she went away Two, two on G Two on G7 for me If she stays away The rocking chair will get me Two on C7 again All I do Now this is different all I do is pray. When you do pray, you keep the C7 shape, okay? But you add your spare finger, your second finger, to the fourth fret on the fifth string, the A string. So C7, but you add this second finger to the fourth fret of the A string and strum that. That is now a G diminished, okay? You got that? So we go, uh, where it comes out where it goes, all you do, that's two strokes on C7 this time, and two on this G diminished, and then to G for the three, the Lord above will let me. And then, so let's just get that far, let's just let's not confuse you, let's go through the whole thing, middle section again, it comes in out of the second verse, it goes, uh, Four on G7, oh yeah, C7 for four, said she's went away, G7 for G7 for me, four on C7, two on G, G7 two, two on C7, and this G diminished to the G on Lord, but Lord above will let me. And then we do a quick single note, second fret of the bottom E string. So it's, the Lord above will let me. And then we go to an E minor 7. Single thing, single second finger, or whichever finger you want. Second fret of the fifth string. Bottom E string open. All six strings, if you like. So it goes, the Lord above, so it goes, uh, the Lord above will let me. Okay. Walk in the sun once more. Two hits on an A7. That's the second on the fourth, second on the second, open third string, open top E string, open fifth string, five down to one. And then we do two on the D augmented again that you play in the normal chord sequence. That one again, okay? So, this whole middle section, where it comes out of the uh, second verse, where it goes. And where we are. Seven. Oh yeah, since she went away, the blues will join me. If she stays away, oh rock and roll jail will get me. All I do is pray, the Lord above will let me. Walk in the sun once more. Another verse can go on. Everything I had is gone, stormy weather, normal verse. Since my man and I ain't together, it keeps raining all the time. Now this, as this is the last verse, repeat the last line, the way I did it anyway. So that's where it comes into that. We do that, keep, keep raining all, and again the time. Raining all the time. So we do two of those lines and then we do two slightly different ones where it goes that. 
So it's G as usual, to, uh, yeah, G sharp diminished as usual. But this time we go A minor seventh, B minor seventh, C minor seventh. So that's B minor seventh is the only different one. And that's the seventh fret bar with the ninth fret on the fifth string. It's exactly the same chord shape as the A minor seventh, but up two, just a single stroke, and then up just one more to the normal C minor seventh that we've been playing all the way through the song. And so it goes. It's the last two lines of the song. Stormy weather. Stop on the C minor seventh. Stormy. Strum on G weather. Okay. So that whole last verse, the way I played it anyway, was coming out of the um, where it goes. Uh, but at the back end of the middle section, it goes, All I do is pray, the Lord above will let me walk in the sun once more. Can't go on, everything I had is gone, stormy weather. Since my gal and I ain't together. on the G and then what I did as a little finish in the bit was just to play this little bit of a lead bit third fret of the second string fifth fret of the third then a hammer from the third fret of the third to the fourth fret of the third and then you go to the fifth fret of the fourth string so it's okay so that's a storm, storm, And then I do this little riff where I go right so that's four on the fourth string you do four to five then the third string goes three to four then the second string goes two to three and then you do two to three on the top E string so slowly and then you slide that up to the 15th fret of the top E string and we finish off with a G, ma uh, G major 9 and the way I play that is to use two fingers pinky and the third finger to play the 10th fret of the second and the first string top E string and the B string there then the, the first finger bars the 9th fret of the 4th string and the 3rd string you could just use those if you want, like that, but I like to add the root note with my second finger, the 10th fret of the 5th string, the A string, and play 5 down to 1. It should sound like that, G major 9. Okay, so the whole ending would be... Um, enjoyed that boys and girls something slightly different from either and a little bit jazzy uh, but not too difficult I don't think worth pers persevering with They'll, those chords will come in useful later in life I'm sure when you try and play some more jazzy type things so uh, see you in the next lesson bye for now